Hey folks, this is Jeff from This Week with JTT. For, for my subscribers, all 450 plus strong, I want to say once again, thank you for traveling with me on my journey. It's kind of funny, I started with 30 subscribers and I'm up to 450. But I'm still fit about 50 or minimum like 43 subscribers short, hitting the goal of 500. And then I'm running out of options, I'm running out of ideas trying to attract those extra people. So I'm going to do something that I sworn I would never do, but I have no choice. And that's it to um, delve into my darkest, most horrific nightmares. Let's just say in this video, you're going to meet my paralysis demon. Remember that dude who's like Mr. Pokédex, I forgot his name. Begins with MN, and he knows a lot about animals. And his and his um paralysis demon is, is using some type of bird, like you know, jokingly a pigeon, something like that, or a cassowary. No, mine's more terrifying. And it's more of a psychological. Ugh. Let's just say you look at that, you look at that thing for about a few seconds. You're having an impossible time, impossible time sleeping. Just think about a question whether I could sleep tonight. But guess what, folks? If Based on the video that I put together, if I got to go for the horrors, so do you. So for all your brave souls who decided to go along with it, that's for the new subscribers. So, like I said, stay tuned. But I give you a warning right now. The next scene is going to give you a clue what you're in for. They say you will have been warned. Alan, did you plan on doing something tonight? Because I think I have to go out. Helen? Helen? It's me again. Yes, I guess you saw um, my paralysis demon on the ceiling. That's from the scene of enemy. Yeah. Picture you coming home, talking to somebody, you walk into the room, you see a 12 foot, eight leg of monstrosity screaming. Yes. Funny thing is, the male lead kind of look like, like what? That would not be me. I would have died of horror. Of shock. That what you've seen is the most horrifying thing, but terrifying me. But the funny thing is, there was other faces that scared me as a child, even as an adult. This paralysis demon still, you know, terrifies me to this day. Call it what you want, overly arachnophobic. Yeah. To you, it's not that big a deal until you face your worst fears. Every human being got the worst fears. Unfortunately, mine is the form of a hairy eight-legged demon. But let me show you the early iterations that used to terrify me. The first thing that terrified me was this. Have your eye on the sexy imports, let lick and mercury. Show you the life with the all news. Believe it or not, that cat making that noise used to terrify the crap out of me. That alone. Forget the rest of the car commercial. The moment I hear that cat roar, scream, sends me to a panic. But that was when I was a kid. Now I was like, okay, I was scared of that. Couldn't believe it. But that's one of the many things that scared me when I was a kid. Hey, folks, it's me again. Yes, what you saw was old classic Mercury Cougar commercial with the Cougar. That cat used to scare the crap out of me as a kid. I used to run out the room. The moment I see the commercial, the moment I hit Lincoln Mercury, I ran out the room. It would terrify me for a long time. It scared me was a little kid. But you will laugh at this next one if that scared me.
Yes, believe it or not, that was the 1960s Batman. That one scared me so bad, I would be terrified. For the longest time, i will be too scared to look at it. My cousin used to scare me with that saying, I'll get Batman on you. Yeah. Now, that Batman, I should not be afraid of, but yet, the newer Batman, who are way more scary, way more violent, I barely flinched. How crazy is that? But, enough of the fun and games. The difference between, like, that cougar and Batman, I have no fear of it. The next creature's coming up, yeah, is the epitome of primal fear itself. So, last chance, folks. Last chance. Because once from this point on, there's no going back. If you insist, enjoy. Hey, folks, I gotta break this down to you briefly as I can. There gonna be a series of videos of different clips. Of these eight legged demons, or you people affectionately call them spiders. Maybe small house spiders or huge tarantulas. Either way, quite simply, it's gonna be numbered one through, I think, seven or eight. Pick a number where you think which video clip gave you reason to be most terrified. In the comment section, you know, just say, like, okay, clip number seven, clip number four, whatever clip you think gave you the most jump scare and make you feel more creeped out, let me know. Let more people know, share the crap out of this, so you give them the feeling you felt. Enjoy. Distress, yeah. I'm glad you call yourself distressing. I'll come on some way to have a meltdown. Yeah, sure. Distress yourself. Right. Somewhere there's a therapist who's cracking open the course on erective therapy and checking their bank account because they're going to be retiring early because they're going to make a lot of money after this. Strange people. That's so out of pocket, not funny. Hold it.
Oh, hell to the no. Hell to the no. Nah. As I watch this post, I try and so hard not to freak out. And they follow like they look at that. They follow her like they're puppies. Are you serious? Kid. And the little tarantulas, I just love the way they walk, and the other animals, I just love how cute they are. Cute, they're not puppies, they're kittens, come on, girl! Well, I kept nagging my mum for a tarantula, because when I was three, I went to a museum and held, like, a, a big tarantula. Yeah, folks, I'm it freaking out. For my seventh birthday, I've got a uh, Harriet, it, it's a Mexican Red New York, um, Raquel Henry. I did a lot of research on her, so um, I could treat her right and how she needed to be treated. Well, my mum had agreed to one tarantula, then I kept nagging on to her to get me another. She got me another. Wow. Then I just got a lot from then on. How many did you think you got? Yeah. Well, the last time I counted them, um, I got 160 something. I'm gonna guess 205. Well, some of my friends want to come in my room, some of them don't because they're scared of them. Why, why do you think they're scared? Do you understand why? That... Um, it's just probably the way they look. But when you get used to them, you get to know them a lot and they're actually really calm enough to you. They get used to you and you get used to them. My YouTube channel name is Princess Alpha Pink. Um, it is where I spread the word um, that they're amazing and cute as they animals. Um, I've got like loads of facts on my YouTube channel about my animals. And uh, I've got like some Q and A and stuff on there. What's what next? All the blue tarantulas in the world. <laughs> and I like the blue tarantulas because I just love um, on the tarantulas the blue colour like shines in the light and it's just so cute and adorable. I do want to become a zoologist, also a zookeeper, and other than that, I just want to be like um, with animals and like yeah, if you know what I mean. <laughs> survived to the very very end you're a lot braver than me i have a hard time filming it had to like hold my head up so i can't see and all that do like this for people and i still get freaked out and creeped out i think the worst was me had to be that little the little girl grabbing like the puppies Ugh. so if you survived this long congratulations you are a warrior if you decide to say forget it guess what I won't judge, but I can't blame it because half the time I feel like chickening out myself. So, spread the word, share the dread. Happy Halloween.